got five hens with him. One of them is the white one. Now there's even more. I don't think those are, there's some hens and a couple of jakes. Three, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five right there. Actually, maybe six. Turkey <laughs> Sixth season. This is the eighth week. Rock and roll. There he is. Let's do it. Sixth season in Wisconsin. This is Dan from Nashville. He's up here to hunt the sixth season here in Wisconsin. Y'all can call him Uncle Dan. <laughs> we, uh, we got him a tom picked out down by the rabbit patch. So we're going to head down there this morning and See if we can't kill him. There's two of them gobbling now. But that one might be that big Jake that's running around because I only we only saw one Tom in here last night. Is 
right here at the end. He's coming this way. He's coming this way at all. Right over that fence post. Look by that fence post. Here he comes. Yes. Got busted. They're all they're right there, running away. Get down. They might not be running away. They're coming. They're not running away. Looks like three Jakes. We got to get closer to the crest of the hill. That's the top. That's the top coming. Yes. Just stay right there. Same strut. You want to get your knee up in front of you so you can hold your gun up. Or maybe you can't. There you go. See what's coming over. We got her done. <laughs> we got her done. Get your tag. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm shaking now. low again. That's why he somersaulted and took his legs right out. Look at that. Look at that beard. He's a dandy. Twenty-three six, twenty-three two, twenty-three ten, twenty-three five. 24, 23, 11. I'm bouncing a little bit. Probably 23 and a half pounds. We've uh, 
Had a rough week this week with Uncle Dan. Came up from Nashville and uh, we've been putting a scare in a few of them. He's got a couple of shots and we've had nothing but bad luck. But uh, tonight we found this big Tom again. We knew he was hanging up in here and uh, caught him out in a cornfield and man, showed him the decoy and he came 200 yards and you know, almost 300 yards in no time. Uncle Dan blasted him at about 20 yards on a on a head-on collision, he could he couldn't you couldn't miss that one, could you? No, no way there. <laughs> oh, I don't say no way. He missed one at 10 yards, so. Yeah, well. But uh, the nice bird, probably a four-year-old, nice heavy, nice heavy 10-inch beard. So the trip was not all for naught. You can relax now. Sixth season here in Wisconsin, getting it done. Twelfth year. Twelfth year, he's come up from Tennessee to to whack one of our big gobblers. And yeah, he pretty much gets it done every year. This is about the biggest one so far. Well, I didn't see him coming at first. When he said he's right there because... I was able to see his fan coming up over the hill and he was hiding behind the decoy. But yeah, he came, when he saw us coming, he he left his hens, the white hen was with him. So I know this is this is the big tom we were hunting. And he's got a full fan. The other, the other tom was missing a tail feather. Getting it done with his 870 Super Mag. Can't beat a Remington. This is Remington Country. Winchester three and a half inch sixes. Put the smack down on him. Whack him! That's the biggest turkey I've ever seen. His fan is so big when he struts, he shades the sun. Hold on a second, I gotta put my phone down because we're videotaping. Turkeys are being turkeys. Let's go get them. I could see a fan coming, he dropped out of strut and he come on a run, crossroads kind of had a 45 to us and he shot him with his head down running right to us, took his legs out, his head out, his beard out, everything. <laughs> 